What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the week according to hip hop. I'm your girl, Kamora, aka DJ K Squared. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. All right, let's get into it. It's one month after the fatal shooting of Takeoff, Houston authorities arrested and charged a man with murder in connection with the rapper's killing. Patrick Xavier Clark, 33, was arrested on the east side of Houston last Thursday evening. Another man, Cameron Joshua, 22, was arrested last month and charged with the unlawful carrying of a weapon. The Houston police chief said during a press conference. When asked how the latter was connected to the case, Finner said Joshua was at the scene and was in possession of a weapon, and he's a felon. The state set his bond at $2 million after authorities believed Clark was trying to get out of town. According to documentation, Clark purchased plane tickets to Mexico two days before being arrested and applied for and received an expedited passport. The state also said he was able to get the passport, and when he was arrested, officers found a large amount of cash on him. So Trilla removes music from Universal, Sony, Warner, and Merlin. Try using some of your favorite songs on a short form video app Triller, the home of Timbaland and Swiss Beats versus series, and you'll be hard pressed to find what you're looking for. On Thursday, the music catalogs for Universal Music Group, Warner Music Group, Sony Music, and Merlin, which provides digital licensing to many top independent labels and distributors, were removed from the platform. A Triller spokesperson says the platform is is reassessing each of our label deals as they come due as our catalog music usage is a small fraction of our overall business with creators. A source at one of the other major music companies says similar breach of contract and failure to make payments including millions and millions in past due royalties was behind Triller's decision to pull these catalogs. The Triller spokesperson however called that claim false and grossly inaccurate. With this new legal news for Triller could cause further delay for the much anti anticipated return of verses. So tell us in the comments, do you guys even use Triller? I mean, what's your music app that you use? Is it Spotify? Is it Apple Music? We want to know. Nas and 21 Savage have joined forces for a new song, One Mic, One Gun. The collaboration between the renowned MC and the Atlanta artist illustrates a harmony between rap past, present, and future. Filled with horns, the track harbors a grand cadence as it nods to the rapper's successes and the power of the genre. Nas says, no back and forth. I did it back Back then, I do it right now. I opened a lane for my era. I'm goaded. They gave me the crown. G-O-A-T with all the success, the negative press, I'm watching it, pal. Raps Nas in the chorus. Also, the release of the new track made amends about the comments 21 Savage previously made about Nas, calling the rapper irrelevant on a clubhouse call. In 21's verse, that opens the track, he said, when you turn to a legend, no such thing as relevance. Aside from the song, both artists have recently released other projects with Nas, King, Disease 3 and Drake and 21 Savage, her loss. I wonder if this has something to do with them linking up. Hmm, I don't know. After weeks and weeks of making mainstream media headlines for anything but music, Ye, the music artist and fashion mogul, formerly known as Kanye West, took to IG and Alex Jones' Infowars site to release a song titled Someday We'll All Get Free. The song samples Donny Hathaway. So on the track, Ye touches on the issues of his day, which include the gap, Cam cancel culture, Twitter, and his marriage to Kim Kardashian. The song style harkens back to the soul loops and drum patterns found on Ye's earlier works. Is this a musical return to the old Kanye? The chop up the soul Kanye? Look, time will tell, and as new music comes out, we'll keep you posted. Hey Ye, instead of dropping on Alex Jones, drop on A2HA, a real hip hop network. Just a thought. Megan Thee Stallion forms 30 under 30. Megan has officially made history as the first black woman to cover Forbes 30 under 30 issue. It's really hard to be the first something in 2022, so ah. <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion said in a response to the news, I want to be bigger than just my music. I want people to know Megan has everything that she ever wanted to be. Megan the artist, I feel like I've always dibbled and dabbled in a lot of different things and I feel like I got that from my mom and dad. She added, I could be Megan Thee Stallion. I could be creative. I could be Megan the student. I'm gonna get my degree. Congrats to Megan. This has been <laughs> the week according to hip hop. Again, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, put some comments down there too. We really appreciate all the love. I'm your girl, DJ K Square, Kimura, we out.